Hey, hey, January 5th, Friday morning. It is, uh, my truck is saying 17 degrees at uh, about quarter after 10. Uh, so this is the, um, oh crap, what was that cyclone they called this? I forgot. Anyhow, this is that uh, snowstorm on the East Coast. That happened yesterday. Six inches of snow was the official total here in southern St. Mary's County. Uh, we started at midnight. Uh, that would have been Thursday morning. So midnight, right at the beginning of Thursday. We plowed until 5 o'clock uh, yesterday evening. So everything was out, tractors plowing, uh, pickup trucks, salt spreaders, putting salt down. Um, we did have some blizzard-like conditions at one point. Uh, wind blowing hard, snow blowing. It, it was pretty bad at one point early yesterday morning. Uh, so anyhow, we all knocked off at 5 o'clock. Uh, was a pretty good day. Uh, I think we broke one pin in one snow plow, uh, one pickup truck, two pickup trucks got stuck. One was able to get out on his own. The other one we had to take a tractor to, to uh, pull him out. And oh, my salt spreader on my pickup truck shifted a little bit and wires came unplugged. So we had to uh, readjust that. Uh, otherwise it was a good day. Um, Back at it this morning, called back out. Uh, well, they told us last night when they knocked us off uh, at five to be planning on coming back out at seven o'clock this morning to take care of snow drifts, uh, get the salt down. So that's what we are doing this morning. Uh, I am following Z's lawn care. He's on the John Deere. Uh, this is one of the worst roads for drifting. Well, so we think, although I'm getting reports, hey, there's a mailbox down. I don't think I did that. I have gotten reports from some of my other guys. Uh, drifting is pretty bad, four and five foot drifts in places. So we are cleaning these drifts up and I am uh, spreading salt behind Z's Lawn Care uh, to try to get these roads uh, cleaned up. So we'll see, uh, it, it should be a relatively short day, I'm guessing. We should be done by five o'clock if, if all goes well. Stay tuned, we'll see what kind of footage we can get.
three o'clock Friday afternoon and we are just about finished with all that we can do. This is uh, some of the stuff we have been dealing with today, the snow drifts. You can probably hear the wind. Hopefully you can hear me over top of the wind, but the wind is blowing pretty good. These are some snow drifts we're dealing with today, uh, but we're getting them cleaned up. Our tractors are pushing through them, so all is good here. Okay, the day is almost over. Uh, filling up with gas now. And I am headed home. I just looked at my hour meter. I will have sat in this truck for 28 hours the last two days. Uh, so, we are finished up here. I've got a dirty truck, but it ain't getting worse for the next couple days because the temperatures are only going to be in the low 20s. So, I think I'm going home, kicking my feet up, and having a glass of wine, or maybe two. This is day three of the um, bomb cyclone. Yeah, that's what it was called, I think. Bomb cyclone. Day three. Day three of this bomb cyclone. Uh, we've got all the county roads uh, cleaned up. Everything's looking good. So now it's down to the driveways, uh, doing a couple of driveways for the neighbors and uh, friends. So this one here, uh, we've got snow drift here. Uh, it's between, this is a field that I work here, uh, but there's just a little valley in here where the road goes where the driveway goes that snow drifts across the field and it just fills in here so we've got about a foot and a half here of uh snow that we're going to clear out of here 
And then once we get up there further in the driveway, uh, not quite as bad, but this is the worst spot. I think, I think I can get through this with the pickup truck. So far, so good. Uh, if not, the tractor's not far away. I can uh, go get that to clean up. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see if we can uh, get some drone footage for you on this. I've got problems. My drone is in a tree and uh, I'm not on a combine in order to reach it, but even the combine would not reach it. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it, but it is way up there in that branch. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get it out, but we'll see. I got some footage on there of uh, plowing this driveway out, but that footage is no good to me with the drone up there. So we'll see. Let me try. Okay. Neighbors helping neighbors. That's what it's all about in this uh, community. The uh, driveway uh, that I just plowed and uh, where I got the drone stuck in the tree. Once I plowed the driveway, the uh, owner came out uh, to pick up some dog food at the hardware store and I uh, happened to come into the hardware store while he was there and my daughter was telling him about the drone being crashed on his property so I told him where it was told him I didn't know how I was going to get it out but I was coming up with some ideas so I came down here 30 minutes later and uh, he came out and met me. I didn't expect that. So he had a ladder and some toe straps and we came up with a plan. His plan was better than mine. So we uh, put the ladder up in the tree, uh, about 15 or 20 feet, I guess. Uh, I had plenty of chains in my truck. Uh, so I took a chain, wrapped it around the tree at that 20 foot mark, however high the ladder could get. I uh, got some more chains hooked onto that, then I hooked my truck onto the chain. And the tree was small enough, only about 8 inches in diameter. Our, our intent was to just try to shake the tree to see if we could get that drone uh, loose. So sure enough, uh, that worked. I, As soon as I yanked on the tree the first time, the drone came crashing down for the second time today. Uh, and we recovered it. So. Here it is, um, looks like I've got uh, two sets of propellers that have broken. Um, everything else looks okay. Uh, we'll see, but that's okay because uh, my daughter gave me new propellers for Christmas. So it looks like I will need those now. So, we'll uh, get the batteries charged back up here in the next day or so. <clears throat> Start this bad boy up, see if it still works. Um, if it does, this is like crash number three into a tree. It's a tough damn drone. 
All right.